Konnichiwa, minasang, my name is Jake. Welcome to our channel, GenXJ. We are officially back after a year of break. It was a very long time since our last upload. In the past year, I think we only uploaded three shorts and we did not upload any personal vlogs or reviews. We have been very busy with our work and also we transferred into a new house. This video was possible because of our new friends from Sonoff. And also Sonoff has sent us two of their products to be reviewed. For today's video, we are going to do an unboxing, review, and our initial insights of the Sonoff Zigbee Bridge Pro and the Sonoff Zigbee Human Presence Sensor. Disclaimer, these two Zigbee products are my very first Zigbee products. All of my smart home products are Wi-Fi based. It will be my very first time to put my finger in the Zigbee world. And even if Zigbee has been present all this time, I did not try it because all of my smart home products has been set up in the Wi-Fi. So this is a very new system for me and I hope that it will be integrated to my old current system. These are the products that Sonoff sent us. First one is the Zigbee Human Presence Sensor and the other one is the Zigbee Bridge Pro. So let's start the unboxing. We will be unboxing the bridge first. Let's put this aside and open the package. So let's speed this up. And this is everything inside the box, the unit. So it's quite small, I like it. And no more other design. So the back of it, Zigbee, Wi-Fi Zigbee, other specs, power supply input, five volts, one ampere. On the sides, nothing. On the bottom, oh, I see it is using the micro USB. Oh, come on, so enough, it's already 2023. And it's nearing 2024. I hope you use the USB Type C. Next one is this is I think the reset reset port. Oh yeah, pairing button. Ah, okay. It's not the reset port, but the pairing button. Input and the pairing button. So at the back, the bottom of the device, there are information written. So this is the ejector pin or the pin that you will be using to click on the pairing button. Okay, let's put this aside. Next is the cable. Unfortunately, it is micro USB. Sonoff, I hope that your next device or next iteration of this bridge will be USB Type C. Okay, on the other end, it's Type A. And finally, the manual Sonoff ZB Bridge P Quick Guide. And that is everything inside the box of the Sonoff Zigbee Bridge Pro. Let us now unbox the Zigbee Human Presence Sensor. And here it is, the Sonoff Zigbee Human Presence Sensor. Same as the bridge box, same the aesthetic. So let us now open the box. So it opens on the top part. Oh, I like the size of it. Let's put this aside. And these are everything that is inside the box. First is the present sensor itself. And it has a magnetic base. So you can mount it. Unfortunately, this is not a battery operated present sensor. And you will need to plug this. And fortunately, not like the bridge, it is USB Type-C. Good job on this one off. I really like the feel. It, it feels a premium product. Yeah, it doesn't feel cheap. and. Now, mounting holes for if you want to screw it or if you want to use the included 3M tape and mount it to any location that you want. And then next one is the manual itself. We'll read this later. And finally, a decent length for the cable. Hats off to you, Sona, for using the Type-C already for this product. This is the Zigbee Human Presence Sensor Unbox. Next is we will do the initial setup for both of these devices.
The zone of SB Bridge Pro specifications are listed below. It can connect up to 128 Zigbee devices. These are the zone of Zigbee devices. You can create different types of smart scenes. Also, you can create local smart scenes. So even without internet, your zone of devices can still work. This is the zone of human presence sensor. Specifications are listed. Its range is up to 4 meters or 13 feet. These are the other features of the human presence sensor. Also, it is compatible with multiple Zigbee hubs. Here we are, my initial thoughts of the these two products. First, I will tackle the human presence sensor. This device for me is very, very great. The sensitivity of it uh, while checking the Kiwi Link app, it was very sensitive and it was very fast. And I was amazed that it can go through a opaque glass, but I have not yet tried it with my current setup with my current smart lights uh, which are controlled by the SwitchBot environment. I will be making another video in which I will be linking the Sonoff system with my current setup which these systems uh, I think majority of it is 80% 90% is controlled by the switch. The cons, uh, I cannot see any cons about this product as of now. Physical build this one oh i understand that this is not battery battery operated since it uses millimeter wave and it will consume a significant amount of power so battery operation is not i think is not viable with this kind of product overall i really like the product itself the product design is very minimalist and it looks good and also the base the magnet of the base it's so strong I think this is a great product for those who want a accurate and not that expensive uh, millimeter wave sensor. Next is the Sonoff Zigbee Bridge Pro. As I've read the specification on Sonoff website, it can reach around 100 plus Zigbee Sonoff product. I have no other cons about this except for this one. The power input, it's still micro USB. For me, I think all of the smart home products or any out, any new products that will be coming out, not just by Sonoff or any company, must be already Type C. And yes, as I have said earlier with the human presence sensor, I will be testing also the integration of the Sonoff products with my other smart home products if they work flawlessly. I think that is my Unboxing and initial thoughts and review of the Sonoff Human Presence Sensor and the Sonoff Zigbee Bridge Pro. I think that is it. See you on the next one. Bye. Peace.